assistant professor electronics and communication engineering walchand institute of technology solapur today we will discuss image enhancement using frequency domain learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to apply image enhancement algorithms in frequency domain contents in continuation with the previous uh, class we will discuss butterworth low pass filter and gaussian low pass filter so let us see the butterworth low pass filter the transfer function of a butterworth low pass filter of order n with cut off frequency at a distance d0 from the origin is defined here if this is a, a transfer function uh, that means this is a transfer function and it is represented using three different ways so this is a image representation of the transfer function this is a 3d representation of a transfer function same uh, transfer function and this is a coordinate representation of the same transfer function so just these are three uh, representations of this transfer function and here we see the equation of butterworth low pass filter is 1 divided by 1 plus d of uv where this is the distance of a pixel from the center that is 0 uh, 0 and this is what the uh, d0 which is the radius of this uh, circle that means this is uh, if i change this radius then it will affect the performance of a butterworth low pass filter also we can change the value of n that is a uh, order of filter in this case so we have two parameters to vary in this butterworth low pass filter one is a uh, d0 that is uh, 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 radius of a circle and the order of a filter and its 3d representation if you look at uh, this is a uh, as compared to earlier ideal low pass filter we see that this uh, function smoothly uh, uh, in non linear way it increasing and it forms a shape of a bell okay so this is a uh, uh, origin u is the one of the variable in frequency domain v is another variable and this is a h of uv that is filter function okay this is also filter function but it is represented as a image and this is a another representation of a filter function in coordinate system so here on x axis we have d of uv and on uh, y axis we have h of uv and we see that there are different curves we are getting with uh, radius d0 having value n equal to 1 2 3 4 so if i change the order of a function the behavior of the uh, filter changes even uh, not only with order we can change this uh, radius also to change uh, its behavior let us see the effect of this butterworth low pass filter on a image for example there are six figures here first one this is a original image then this is a uh, second image with a result of filtering with butter butterworth filter of order 2 and cut off radius 5 so order is 2 and radius is 5 here we are in this example we are uh, keeping order fixed of 2 and we are changing the radius so we can have two parameters to change here order and radius so this is with order 2 and radius 15 this is with order 2 radius 30 this is 8 radius 80 this is radius 230 if you look at the results of this butterworth low pass filter we see that with a very small radius we get a blurred image and as you go on increasing the image uh, the radius 
we see that the image gets more enhanced and enhanced. Okay. Then the next uh, frequency domain filter that is called Gaussian low pass filter we are uh, using and the transfer function of a Gaussian low pass filter is given as h of u v is equal to e raised to minus d square u v divided by 2 d 0 square, where d 0 is the radius of a circle here if you look at this image and this d of u v is the distance of a particular pixel from the origin. And we see the 3D representation which is somewhat similar to the Butterworth low pass filter, but it is uh, uh, the uh, top response of the Butterworth filter is different than this Gaussian filter. Here we see uh, a notch here. Okay. So, and here uh, we see the filter function. This, this is not a completely white, but it is having different uh, intensities and see the effect of changing the radius. Here in this Gaussian low pass filter, we can change only the radius. We do not have the power as we did with the Butterworth low pass filter. So, here if I change the value of radius from 10 to 20 to 40, we see that the, the response of a filter also changes and it affects the output of a low pass filter, Gaussian low pass filter. Let us see the effect of Gaussian low pass filter with these three images. The first one is a, a result of filtering with a ideal low pass filter. That means here this uh, original image is not shown here but this is a result of uh, processing original image with ideal low pass filter with radius 15 and the same thing uh, that means uh, is uh, processed with Butterworth filter of order 2 and radius 15 and uh, the same image is also filtered using uh, um, Gaussian filter of radius 15 and we see that this uh, out of these three filters that is uh, lo ideal low pass filter, Butterworth low pass filter and Gaussian low pass filter. Somewhat we see that the performance of ideal low pass filter is not uh, that much good as compared to this Butterworth and Gaussian. So, this way we are, because this is a nonlinear function Butterworth and Gaussian are these nonlinear function whereas this uh, uh, ideal low pass filter transfer function is a uh, linear one. Okay. So, let us uh, have a question what will be the transfer function of Gaussian high pass filter. Okay. You pause the video and answer the question. So, naturally the high pass filters high pass filters either it is a Gaussian or Butterworth or ideal we have the uh, if you subtract the transfer function of the ideal low pass filter or Gaussian low pass filter from 1 we get the high pass filter. So, this is a h of u v is the Gaussian high pass filter that is 1 minus e raised to this uh, function is already we have discussed which is a uh, transfer function of uh, uh, Gaussian low pass filter. So, subtract Gaussian low pass filter from 1, we get a Gaussian high pass filter. And as usual, this is what the uh, representation of this Gaussian high pass filter with uh, three representations image, 3D, and uh, uh, coordinate system, same thing. And we see the result of this Gaussian high pass filter. If you look at this, is the original image and this is the result of processing uh, input image with uh, Gaussian high pass filter of radius 15, this is with radius 30 and this is with radius 80. So, again you look at uh, 
uh, with uh, radius 15 we do not see any enhancement, but with radius 30 we see that there is a more enhancement as compared to this uh, uh, radius 80 also. So, uh, this uh, is a more appropriate uh, what we can say radius for uh, getting enhanced image. Okay. Then we can similarly we can have a Butterworth high pass filter. So, this is what the Butterworth high pass filter transfer function and it is uh, a representation in three different ways and we will see the result of this Butterworth high pass filter. We can see here this is the original image, this is a Butterworth high pass filter with radius 15, this is with 30 and this is with 80 and again we see that with radius 30 is more appropriate for Butterworth filter as well. References Digital Image Processing by Rafael C. Gonzalez and Richard E. Woods by Tata McGraw Hill Education. Thank you very much.